Hey, my name is Tia Silvesi and I'm a Florida friendly landscaping agent with the University of Florida IFAS in Orange County. Um, so we're here at the extension office and we had a tour planned here with the American Society of Horticultural Sciences with the annual conference. But unfortunately, that in-person tour had to get canceled. And so I just wanted to give you all a brief overview of the flower trowel garden here. And I'll show you, I'll take you back to the garden and we'll look at some of the new varieties and cultivars that we're trialing this year from some of the breeders. So now we're behind the building and we're entering into the exploration gardens. And so we're gonna pass by a couple of themed gardens on our way through. And this garden was established in the year 2011 and we currently have two landscape technicians that maintain the area. So here we're walking by our rain garden and this is an area that we have some natives like the cypress tree and the wildflowers, also some canna and daylilies and other plants that can tolerate having their plant roots a little wet when it, you get seasonal rains, this area gets flooded. Um, we have a small pond here, and sometimes when the rain is really heavy, it will go right over that sidewalk. This is our formal garden for those who need ideas when they wanna have a landscape that's more manicured or in a more formal setting. And that's our welcome kiosk, which is right next to our pollinator garden. So we have a variety of flowering plants in here, um, perennials, native plants like that passion flower and the moly grass. We have a pollinator house there with the little bamboo and places for them to hide out. That's our archway into the formal garden. And then some cranberry hibiscus and red salvia, also the African basil and that gazebo. So here we are at the entrance of the FNGLA 2020 Florida Flower Trial. And let me mention that this trial, I mean, this tour was organized by Caitlin Barrios of the Ornamental Plant Breeding Professional Interest Group for ASHS. And this is one of our 10 theme gardens here at the Extension Center. So we're open year round during daylight hours. So stop by and check us out. So here you can see an overview of some of the varieties. And this first one that we're looking at is a Suarsi Kauai. And it's a uh, type of Vinca that is tiny but terrific and very heat tolerant, retains a nice shape, all color long, only six to 10 inches high. And then this one here is the Caladium uh, Ballet Slippers by Classic Caladium. And it's a new introduction from the CEO, Dr. Robert Hartman, with the large pink splosh and the green margins. Um, here's the Vinca Cora. And this has extra disease resistance against the Phytophthora large showy flowers, although we still did have a lot of Phytophthora problems this summer. Um, the next thing we have here is the African Marigold, the Marvel II by Pan American Seed. And these have the big flower heads, but some of them are a little waterlogged, it may be some fungal disease. Um, this endurance, this is supposed to have long summer blooms and thrive in heat, wet and dry conditions. Um, now we're going to take a look at um, the back of the garden where we have some other um, plants. Here is the eggplant, Asian Delight by Pan American Seed. This is a good producer. It has upright plants, purple elongated fruits. It's semi-spineless and not bitter. You can grow that in the field or a container garden. And then we have the Valiant Punch color vinca and this is by pan american seed and it's supposed to have high color impact and disease resistance to phytophthora here is another one which is the magenta color and those both look really good 
um, and they looked great last year too, some similar varieties. So next we're gonna take a look at these sun patients um, by Cicada. And these are supposed to have downy mildew resistance, nonstop color, heat loving, sun loving. Um, this is the vigorous orange improved. And the first one was the lavender splash. So that's just a brief overview of some of the plants that did well in the garden. You can see um, some of them didn't do well by the empty plots. So we'll continue on the tour and show you a couple more of our gardens. This is our vegetable garden where we have a variety of summer tolerant plants in right now like okra, black eyed peas, and seminal pumpkin. And we also show a variety of growing methods. Now we're panning over to our flowering tree garden where we have a flat woods plum and some fragrant trees and flowers. And to the left side there is our fruit tree area with apples, figs, and mulberries. This is our succulent garden. We have many species of succulent and right now our spiral cactus is in full bloom and it smells so sweet at night and in the early morning. The last step on our tour is to our wildflower meadow. And this is all native plants. And we got a grant from the Florida Wildflower Foundation to create this garden. This contains all native plants, including the button rattlesnake master, tick seed, and butterfly milkweed. So thank you all for coming today on the virtual tour to the flower trial here at the University of Florida IFAS Extension Orange County office. And I'll see you at the ASH conference virtually.